Hello friends, my name is Sahil and this is my Personal Finance Academy. First of all, I wish you all a very happy and prosperous Diwali. I wish this Diwali brings a lot of good health and wealth in your life. Now that we are in the festive season of Diwali, I thought of presenting this small cap company that can literally lighten up your Diwali. Okay, let me give you some hints. This company was listed on the Indian exchanges in May 2018 after the demerger from its parent company. It was listed at the levels of Rs 120 and in the last 3 years, the company is trading at the levels of Rs 375. This company has one of the most popular brand names in the fan category with more than 65 years of presence in the business. It has a wide product portfolio with presence across fans, lights, home appliances, switch gear and electrical solutions. Due to the rising income and spending level, increasing urbanization and government focus on housing projects, this company has a bright growth prospect. Can you guess the name of the company? Well, I am talking about Orient Electric. In this video, I will cover the fundamental analysis of Orient Electric. So, I will first cover the business division and then the product portfolio of Orient Electric, its promoters and management, competitive strength, key risk and its future growth prospect. Then, we will discuss the financials of the company along with the valuations. Finally, we will conclude if Orient Electric is fundamentally strong or not. But before we start, this is not a stock tip. This video is only for educational purpose. Please do your own research before investing your hard-earned money. If you are a trader, then you can skip this video. This video is only for long-term investors. Alright, let's get started with our analysis. So Orient Electric was initially known as Calcutta Electrical Company in 1954 and then it became a part of 150-year-old CK Birla Group. So Orient Electric is in the business of consumer electrical space for more than 65 years now. It has positioned itself as a one-stop solution of fan, lights, home appliances, switch gears and other electrical solutions. If you break up the business of Orient Electric, it has two business divisions. First business segment is electrical consumer durables. This segment includes your fan and home appliances. Orient Electric has a range of fans including your ceiling fan, wall fan, table fan, exhaust fan and so on. Within home appliances, it includes your air cooler, water heater, room heater, dry iron, juicer mixer grinder, electrical chopper, induction cooktop, electric kettle, electric toaster and so on. Its second business division is lightning and switch gear. Within lighting, it includes various categories of lights. For example, it includes LED lamps and tubes, professional lighting, fluorescent light, incandescent lamp and so on. Within switch gear, it includes various products like your wiring accessories, circuit breaker, modular switches, distribution board, MCB changeover and so on. If you look at the FI21 revenue breakup, Orient Electric had a revenue of around 2000 crore and out of this 75% revenue was from electric consumer durable business and remaining 25% was from lightning and switchgear segment. Today Orient Electric is the largest manufacturer and exporter of fans in the country with presence in 35 countries and more than 60% share in the fan export. If you look at the promoters of Orient Electric, it is a part of 150-year-old CK Billa Group that has its presence in technology and automotive, home and building, healthcare and education category. For example, this group owns Billa Soft in IT, then Orient Cement, Orient Papers, etc. Its chairman is Mr. CK Billa. Orient Electric CEO and MD is Rakesh Khanna. He has more than 32 years of experience in India and abroad in the consumer durable, consumer electronics, electrical and lighting sector. Currently, Orient Electric has a market cap of 8000 crore rupees. Overall, on its product portfolio and management, I would rate it 10 on 10. If you look at the competitive strength, its first strength is strong brand name. Orient Electric is more than 65 years old brand name and a very popular name in the fan and appliance sector. This brand name gives high credibility to the company which clearly differentiate it from the competitors. Orient Electric has consistently received super brand status for fans, coolers and lightning category. 
company is also investing in brand building activity and has endorsed Mahindra Singh Dhoni as its brand ambassador. Its second strength is innovation. Orient Electric is continuously innovating itself to stay relevant and build products for the future. It was one of the leaders in lightning market that moved from conventional CFL technology to the LED technology. It continued to lead the innovation with Internet of Things and connected technologies to create smart devices. For example, it has launched i-series fan that has inbuilt inverter technology that consumes up to 50% less energy. It is India's first fan with inverter technology. Then third strength is experienced leadership. Orient Electric has a very experienced leadership and is part of prestigious CK Billa group. Fourth strength is strong distribution network. Company's products are available across the country with wide distribution network of 5,000 plus dealers and 1,25,000 plus retail outlets. Company also sells its products on digital platforms like your Amazon and Flipkart. In fact, Orient Electric is the largest exporter of fans from India. So it has a wide distribution network not only in India but across the world. If you look at the key risk, first risk is strong competition. Orient Electric has strong competition in consumer electrical space with players like Havels, Bajaj Electricals, Polycap, Symphony, Vigard, and so on. Further, company also faces competition from Chinese products and unorganized market. Then, its second risk is volatility in raw material pricing. The major raw material required for manufacturing of fans, lighting, and switchgear are your silicon sheets, then copper road and wires, then steel and aluminium. These products, being commodity in nature, have volatile price movement. The cost of raw material such as steel, copper and aluminium has increased significantly since November 2020. If the company is not able to pass on the hike in prices of raw material to consumers, it might affect the profitability of the company. Then third risk is seasonality. Orient Electric major products are fan and coolers and they are seasonal in nature with major sales coming in summer season. And due to lockdown, the summer season sale was impacted badly. Although, company has now diversified its product across lightning and switchgear to reduce the seasonality impact. Overall, on the competitive strength and key risk, I would rate it 8 on 10. If you look at the future growth, consumer electronics and appliances industry has witnessed a sharp contraction in demand in FR21 due to the outbreak of COVID-19 and subsequent lockdowns. However, now the demand has been improving due to ease in restriction and is backed up by pent-up demand. Then, the festive season will also support the growth in third quarter of current financial year. Further, there is a strong demand in housing sector that would eventually result in demand for fans, coolers, lights and other electrical appliances. So the management is optimistic about the results in the coming quarters. If you look at the long-term growth prospect, there would be growing demand for consumer electrical products due to increasing income and spending level, increasing nuclear families, increasing urbanization, then rise of demand from rural sector and adoption of internet and online shopping. On top of this, government is focusing a lot on housing for all and has target to build 2 crore plus affordable homes within housing scheme. Moreover, there is now increased focus towards energy efficient products including your smart fans, smart cooler, smart lighting and so on. All these factors would continue to drive the growth of consumer electrical space. Orient Electric is expanding its product portfolio to cater to the growing demand with latest innovation. It has recently launched an emergency lighting range across lamp and batons that have lithium ion battery. Company is also expanding its distribution network with focus on suburban and non-metro market. Orient Electric is also targeting the premium range of products. It has entered into an exclusive strategic tie-up with Italy-based company DeLonghi to market and sell its premium international brands in India including DeLonghi, Canwood and Barun. So DeLonghi, Canwood and Barun have a strong product basket in your coffee preparation, food preparation and cooking, cleaning and ironing and home comfort. This partnership will help Orient Electric to expand its appliances portfolio and tap into the emerging trends in the consumer appliances space in India. Overall, on future growth, I would rate it 10 on 10. If you look at the growth ratio, Orient Electric revenue is growing at a consistent rate. 
Although there was a fall in FY21 due to COVID, however, the trailing 12 month number shows recovery and the last 12 month revenue stood at 2437 crore. The CAGR rate is 12.77%. If you look at the profit, again it is growing at a very good rate. If you observe, in spite of COVID related issues in FY21, the profit have grown at a very good rate. The last 12 month profit stood at rupees 154 crore. The CGR rate is 28.5%. Overall, on growth ratio, I will rate it 9 on 10. If you look at the profitability, its operating margins have been consistent in the range of 10 to 11%. If you look at the ROE and ROCE, both are well above 20%. Its latest ROE is 32.9% and ROCE is 40.9%, which is brilliant. Overall, on profitability, I'll rate it 10 on 10. If you look at the debt to equity, company has consistently reduced the debt levels and its current debt to equity stood at 0.19. Hence, on debt to equity, I'll again rate it 10 on 10. Company has recently declared its quarterly result and its September 21 revenue stood at 594 crore, which has increased both Q on Q and Y on Y. Quarter on quarter, the revenue is up by 40.76% and year on year revenue is up by 36.86%. Its September 21 profit stood at 35 crore, which has again increased both quarter on quarter and year on year. Q on Q, the profit is up by 600% and the sharp rise in quarter on quarter profit is due to the low profit in June quarter due to lockdown. And year on year, the profit is up by 9.3%. Overall, the financials of the company are looking very good. If you look at the shareholding pattern, promoters hold 38.52% stake in the company. It has been consistent in the last 12 quarters. FII have increased their stake in the company from 4.34% to 8.74%. DII have also increased the shareholding from 18.21% to 23.78%. If you look at the valuation of Orient Electric, it is currently trading at levels of Rs. 375. At current level, Orient Electric has a PE ratio of 52, which is similar to its median PE since the IPO. If you look at the competitor's PE, Havels has a PE of 67.8, Bajaj Electrical has a PE of 68, Symphony has a PE of 57.6. So overall, Orient Electric is looking fairly valued at current levels and trading at lower valuation as compared to its competitors. So in this video, we have done the fundamental analysis of Orient Electric. It has been in the business of consumer electrical space for more than 65 years now. It has positioned itself as a one-stop solution of fans, lights, home appliances, switch gear and other electrical solutions. Company has a strong brand name and strong distribution network with experienced leadership. Company is focusing a lot on innovation and launched a smart electricity saving products and IoT devices with connected technology. In terms of future growth, there is bright growth prospect for electrical appliances due to rising income and spending level and rising urbanization. Even the government has a lot of focus on affordable housing. Although there is a risk of strong competition and raw material fluctuation. Company has strong financials. Overall, it is a fundamentally strong company. Currently, this company is trading at levels of 375 at a P ratio of 52. Hence, looking decent at current valuation. Friends, when I analyze a company, I don't just look at the next 3 to 6 months of share price movement. I look at the long term bigger picture. Sometimes I see comments that the stock is covered in fundamental analysis did not perform well in the last 2-3 months. Now, if you are expecting that after my analysis, the stock is only going to increase, then it is not possible. In fact, if the stock is fundamentally strong, then any fall in the stock would create a buying opportunity for long-term investors. Even in the case of Onient Electric, there is no guarantee that the stock will generate great return in the short term. But I think that it is a fundamentally strong company with bright growth prospect in the long term. In case you want to learn how to pick fundamentally strong companies, you can explore my complete course on money management. I have provided the website detail in the description box. Now tell me in the comments, what is your take on this company? I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.